Hi guys, still haven't finished tidying up after having come back from holiday. Have cleared some of the stuff away. Piled it all up by the doors there when we got home. Body boards and wind brakes and kites and all that sort of thing. Anyway, I'm waffling. The subject today is popped into Lidl today and spotted this Silvercrest power bank with solar charger. Portable charger for smartphones, tablets, ebook readers, etc. Lithium polymer technology, no memory effect, low self discharge, constant high performance, efficient and environmentally friendly. And then down here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, it says battery rechargeable via micro USB. Uh, solar charger? Yeah, okay. Charging cable included. Optional charging with solar power. So we've got that solar panel on the front and it's telling you that's the optional bit. You can try and charge it from solar power if you like. Now looking at the picture there, there's a couple of brackets and some suckers which are on the back there so you can stick it to a window and it might charge from sunlight. Uh, Built-in rechargeable lithium polymer battery 3.7 volts 5000 milliamp hours. So what I'm going to do is one of the regular requests I get a solar powered car and what I'm going to do is rig up a simple car and just see if it runs off this. Plan is to run it off this until it's flat in case there's any charge in it anyway and then what I'll do is I'll stick those brackets on it stick them on the window here and then well it's uh, evening now it's half past eight at night but tomorrow if it stays sunny, and we are due for uh, thunder showers, but if it stays sunny, it might charge up again, and then we'll genuinely have a solar powered car. Now, over here, under all this pile, I've got the motor and gearbox and wheels off of some radio controlled car. I've rigged up uh, JST connectors on that and then from the JST connectors I've gone to a USB connector so we should be able to plug it straight into there I've got this wooden box from some dominoes so that I'm going to hot glue into there at that end because it just happens to fit nicely and then you might be able to guess before I tell you. That's going to go in there. I'll hot glue that in place so it's sticking out a bit. And I've got another pair of wheels here from another toy car. A little bit of um, Meccano there, a little bit of bent metal. And that runs nice and free in there. I've drilled one hole in there, which I'm going to put that through there. So we can actually set the steering at an angle. And then hopefully just let it run round in circles on the floor here. And that will be to run the battery down in case there is charge in it now. And then once it's stopped, so say we'll plug it, plug it, put it in the sun, see if that recharges. And then that will be genuinely solar powered. All right, let's get it out of the box. I've got instructions. That's quite a thick pack of instructions, no doubt in every language in the world. Actually, there's quite a few pages in English there. So I'll probably read them in a minute. USB lead, a couple of 
brackets, some suckers to stick on the wall or the window, and then eventually the solar panel. Yeah, it's got some power in it. Let's see what happens if we plug this in. Turn it off. Plug that. Oh, looks like you've got plenty of power, doesn't it? See that might take quite a while to run down. Hmm. Might have to tether it or something. Still, I'll do what I said. I'll glue that axle and gearbox onto that wooden box, and then we'll see if we can run the battery down. We may have a little problem with plan A. I've got car all rigged up there. But I've just given it a try and it goes too fast and it spins or at least the wheels slide so it doesn't stay in a nice tight circle I'll just demonstrate <laughs> yeah I think that, that is not going to work like that Think of some other way of doing this. I suppose at a push I could make it radio controlled so that we can steer it and then um, run the battery down that way. So I think that's as far as we're going in this episode. I'm going to have to have a rethink. Too fast for the circle I was trying to get it to go round. The other thing I could do is I could tether it. I could put a weight in the middle, put a hook on the side of it and get it to go around that way. I'll have a think, but I think that's as far as I'm going to go in this episode. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.